Hi YouTube, this is my um, favourites video for February 2014. I usually do a favourites and a products that I've used up and just a heads up that I don't think I'll be doing a products that I've used up this month because I've used up precisely one product so it wouldn't be a very interesting video and I think I'll save that one product till next month. Um, February is a short month anyway and I'd used up a lot in January and hopefully by the end of next month I'll have far more to talk to you about. But I still have got products that I've enjoyed using particularly this month um, which I thought it was worth talking about. And the first thing I wanted to share was not just a product that I've been enjoying using but particularly w a particular way of using it. And it's the um, combination of this concealer, which is, um, wouldn't you know it, a Chanel um, liquid concealer. Uh, just so I can tell you which one it is. It's the Correction Perfection Concealer in shade 31, which I'm guessing is one of the fairest shades. And more particularly, using it with this fluffy brush, which is... Um, uh, called a setting brush by Real Techniques, which is the Samantha Chapman range of brushes that you can get in boots amongst other places. Now, um, I've had this brush for quite a long time and I've used it primarily, uh, as it was called a setting brush, to brush powder on over um, foundation or concealer um, particularly I've used it when concealing under my eyes and until recently I'd been using, uh, I used Laura Mercier but my favourite palette was this Bobbi Brown palette which has in it um, two shades, this is like a creamy concealer there which looks a bit darker than it's showing up under my light um, which I would um, apply with a MAC 195 concealer brush which is just a flat um, bristle brush quite pointed and then this pan here has a kind of yellowy powder which is a setting powder and I would use the fluff brush and that worked very well under my eyes and I still quite often use that if I've got very dark circles. Now I had bought this Chanel concealer a long time before and not really used it because I didn't find it was that um, effective under my eyes and I still don't think so. It's not quite yellow enough based to do the job. But I watched a video by um, A Model Recommends, that's Ruth Crilly. You can um, find her here on YouTube and she does some great um, videos, especially her makeup demonstrations. And she talked um, about using her concealer dabbed on over marks and pigmentation and then blending it in with a fluffy brush. Now I just never thought of doing that. I'd always thought of this kind of fluffy brush as being for powders. Um, but I started using this concealer with this brush and it really, really gives a much better finish than fingers or the concealer brush um, that I'd been using before from MAC. So um, I really, really rate this Chanel concealer, but of course it's extremely expensive, as you might expect. It's one of these, um, you know, typical ones with a wand and it's quite substantial, the um, viscosity of the liquid. But, I mean, you can use the fluffy brush technique with much cheaper, similar ones. This is a Maybelline one that you can get in Superdrug. And although it doesn't last quite as long as this one, I mean, you can get the same airbrushed finishing conceal technique using the Real Techniques brush with a cheaper liquid concealer. So I really um, recommend that as a tip. You know, it might not work for everyone, but it certainly worked for me. So worth giving a try. And that's been one of my favourite ways of concealing various um, areas of hyperpigmentation this month. The other thing that I've been um, changing about my eye makeup this month has been really 
trying to simplify what I've used on my eyes. I've got hooded eyes because I'm, you know, a middle-aged woman. I've always had hooded eyes, but, I mean, they're worse now, obviously, than they were when I was younger. And um, I have to say my natural inclination is towards quite um, shimmery eyeshadows. I do like me a bit of bling without um, clunky glitter falling everywhere, but a bit of shimmer. And I don't have that many matte shades um, but I have been using this month um, one of the matte shades out of my Naked 2 palette. Now, I'm not as big a Naked fan as a lot of YouTubers are. I do recognise how the palettes are fantastic value for money if you want a lot of colours with a reasonable consistency Um and, yeah, I mean, I understand why they're so popular, but I actually don't think the quality is anything like the quality you get in the more high-end brands. But I do recognise that for the same amount of money, you would uh, only get one quad from Chanel with four colours, and you wouldn't even get a whole quad from Tom Ford. So... um you know, it, it depends how much you've got to spend, but I personally would rather have a really um, well curated um, quad of four colours that I'm going to use day in, day out than this number. And I haven't really used um, the Naked palette all that much. But as I say, this month I have been enjoying using this one, which is Tees, one of the few matte colours in this palette which is just a, a sort of mushroomy matte, which um, works very nicely on my blue eyes with a bit of mascara. So, um, and I have also actually been using this quite yellowy foxy um, highlighter or occasionally booty call, which does have a bit of shimmer in it as uh, an underbrow colour. Uh, it's worked quite well. The other um, two that I've been using for simple eyes have been this Burberry shadow. And again, I think this was down to um, Ruth Crilly um, doing a Burberry makeup. Um, Burberry eyeshadows are hideously expensive, but they're really good quality. I've used this one quite a lot, and you can still see the pattern, you know, is there embossed on the shadow. This one is called Midnight. And it's a beautiful lightish brown in the pan with a bit of shimmer and dimension. You can really build it up if you like a darker colour or if you're fair and don't want too much um, of a dramatic eye. It really works, I think, with blue eyes, but it would probably work, you know, with green, brown, whatever your eye colour and the great thing about these shadows that they are, as I say, horribly expensive is that they really do last. You don't need to touch up in the day. And um, the other one that I've been using is this MAC in grain. I talked about this some months ago. It's quite, um, it's not showing up well in my light. It's um, a sort of light tan, quite lustery um, colour. Um, but again, just gives a really, it's a satin nice wash over the eyelids. The other two items that I wanted to mention, nail polish as ever. Um, Tapage is one of the new ones from the spring collection. I'm wearing at the moment. It's showing up more orange on the monitor. It's actually a true pink red. Um, what I like about it is, as you can see, this is a week's worth of manicure. There's a bit of tip wear there. Um, but otherwise, it's worn really, really well. Still glossy and shiny. Really great consistency. Um, again, Chanel uh, um, nail varnishes are expensive. And some of them are better than others. But Tapage is a really good one if you like a nice red cream um, for formula and lasting. And the other thing that I've been enjoying is this brush that I picked up on a bit of a whim at Space NK when I was there. A few weeks ago it's called the tangle teaser you can see it with all my nice hairs I've got quite long thick um, messy hair that gets really tangled when I wash it and um, this is much better than my ordinary brush I'm going to clean it after showing it to you um, for distangling my hair detangling my hair after washing um, again it's a bit pricey £10.50 but um, I suppose if it's stopping all that pain and suffering of um, 
brushing my hair straight before I blow dry it after a wash, then it's quite good value. So those are my favourites for the month of February. Um, let me know if you like this video. Bye for now.